Okay, we have completed two sections of this game. Well, not completely. Redcliffe Castle, we still need to find the Urn of Sacred Ashes to restore the but this restore the Aralair, Earl Eamon, so he can commit his troops to our aid. We've already got the Circle Tower Mages in on this, though. So as soon as we can get that going, we'll be in better hands. Uh, something to note, Lothering, the small town just off the Imperial Highway at the edge of the Hinterlands, has been destroyed by the Darkspawn. Remember, this is where the first village that we had entered north of Flemish Hut, quite a bit north as it appears. This is where we first went to, and we got, picked up the characters of Liliana and Sten. Now, important thing to note is it can be presumed that the, um, oh, look at that blight. It can be presumed that in the event that you did not save Sten from his cage and allow Liliana to join you, they both would have been killed when the dark spawn invaded this town you cannot go back here now it is off limits where i can go though is the frostback mountains random encounter i'm sure will come there we go not so random is it if you know it's going to happen you just don't know what is going to happen Oh, just a person. Oh, thank the maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. And do I really want to do this? All right. Who attacked the wagon? We've been ambushed. Okay, time to get a killin'. Hmm, there's quite a few of them. Okay. You, Zephyr, you're gonna die, fool. Yeah, these guys won't stand a chance. There we go. They just have money. I guess having a ranged weapon isn't the dumbest idea in the world. You remember this was the guy... Oh, 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 look at that. Okay, Sten. You remember this was the guy leading this charge that was hired by our, uh... Oh, the elven assassin is wounded and unconscious, but alive. Could tie him up and talk to him if you wish. Let's wake him up. See what he has to say. Mm. Oh, what? I. Oh. Oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. I have some questions. Ah. So I'm to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antiven Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. I'm rather happy you failed. So would I be, in your shoes. For me, however, it sets a rather poor precedent, doesn't it? 
getting captured by a target seems a tad detrimental to one's budding assassin career. What are it something something crows? An order of assassins, of course, out of Antiva. I suppose you wouldn't hear much of them out here, but where I come from, we're rather infamous. Not for being good assassins, I see. Oh, fine. Is that what you Fereldens do? Mock your prisoners? <laughs> Such cruelty. You came all the way from Antiva? Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. Who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. Does that mean you're loyal to Loghain? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. And now that you've failed that service? Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. And between you and me? Isn't that what we're establishing now? When were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. And you have... Oh, hold on. <laughs> if you had failed... What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> no. no, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? How much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Then why are you one? Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The Crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The Crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. Thanks, I'll take that under advisement. You seem like a bright lad. I'm sure you've other options. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Aren't you at least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. I'm listening. Make it quick. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. Can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. And what's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. What do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? Why would I want your service? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated, now that my attempts have failed. 
I also know a great many jokes. Twelve massage techniques, six different card games. I do wonderful at parties, no? Very well. I accept your offer. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? If you want to kill him, Alistair, then you do it. I... well... no. I suppose we could use whatever help we can get. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Okay, we got our new character. I'm gonna go drop Alistair out of the group. Yes. Vashadan. Fast and damnation. Buggy as hell. And bring Zephyrin into the group. Zephyrin. Shall be done. Ooh, stuff. Moving on. Oh, taking us right to, uh, I'm going to bail out and then go to the camp. Anytime now. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? What did you find? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells. A map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Yet you look disturbed. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Let me guess. She drinks blood. Eats children? That is closer to the truth than you might think. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout Chastened Legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter. And when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. So why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said. The Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. So, if you died, she would have another daughter? Not by any natural means. Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities? Or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds? So she could prepare her ritual in peace. A disturbing thought. Are you certain about this? Indeed. That is primarily what this tome details. The various daughters that Flemeth has acquired. Their preparation and training. I recognize all of it. I am to be her next host. This is my purpose. So, what do you intend to do about it? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Kill Flemeth? Isn't that a little extreme? 
It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. Why do you need my help? Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously I cannot be the one to do it. Very well. I'll help you, if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Do I have a time limit on this? Not really, but the sooner the better, no? I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. Okay, we got some more approval from Oregon. And the quest she was describing. We're at 42, nice. The quest she is describing is the big quest that you use to, um, like, every character has their own, like, big approval quest. This is Morgan's. It's, at, it's one of the shortest ones, provided that we already have the first grimoire from the Circle Tower Mages. But it's also kind of a hard one, because Flemeth is not an easy enemy to defeat. Okay, where is he? That's not him. There he is. Zephron. Zephron, our newest character. Let's go take a look at his stats. Okay, level 11. Level up on all of our... at least one level on all of our characters. Notice he has a... Uh, Notice the stats and traits and all that kind of stuff is similar to Liliana in Construct. Higher dexterity, so he'll be more effective using daggers and bows than she would. But a lower uh, cunning and whatever that does. <laughs> so Zephron, Zephron being a rogue is a character that you're not going to want to throw directly up against a lot of enemies. Because he'll get cut down kind of easy, although he will last longer than some of, like, the caster characters. Other than that, I mean, he's not any character that's truly, um, incredible. First time I played as this, uh, I'm, I played this game, I spared his life and eventually later on had to kill him. I might not have to do that now. But we can build up his approval, as we can with any of our characters. By giving him crap. You want to build up his approval uh, more so than the other characters. Because if you build up, if you don't build up his approval, he will eventually betray you. Even if you manage to maintain it at a decent level, he will still betray you anyway. So, you build up his approval. If you get it high enough, he won't uh, try to kill you later. He likes uh, this kind of stuff. Gold bar. I shall treasure it. Thank you. There we go. Plus ten. I'm not sure any of this other crap what goes to him. I know that doesn't. This I'm not sure. I'll look that up later. But anyway, that's our latest character. He's dual wielding, got a long sword and uh, crow's dagger. Could there are better weapons out there, but whatever. And I'm not. And because he's a rogue and not a warrior, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not give him crazy heavy armor, because uh, his fatigue will go too high. But, uh, well, there we go. Let's talk to him, see what he has to say. Here I am. 
Care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. What does it take to become an assassin? Well, the Crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. So you have to be a murderer. Now, now. It need not be thought of so crudely. We all do our share of murdering around here, don't we? An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth and in maximizing that first attempt to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. Sounds like it could be useful. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Ah, oh, I lost approval out of this fucker. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Here I am. Can you teach others to be an assassin? Oh, I certainly could, but I won't. I swore to the crows that the things they taught me were to remain a secret. And while, yes, they are already angry at me, I'd rather not push things, you see. Very well. I respect your word. If you are truly insistent, well, let me think about it. The crows are already angry at me, yes? Who knows? There, I got two back. Here I am. I want to discuss something with... Uh, I want to discuss something personal. Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? Never mind. Alright. We're done here, I think.